Have you ever wondered what the next big leap in smartphone technology looks like? What if your phone could do more, see more, and be more? Imagine a device that pushes the boundaries of what's possible in your pocket. Curious about the future of mobile tech? Let's dive into the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, let's address the elephant in the room, size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is going big, and I mean really big. We're looking at a whopping 6.9 inch display, up from the 6.7 inches we've gotten used to. That might not sound like much on paper, but trust me, in the hand, you'll definitely feel the difference. This size bump isn't just about having a bigger screen to watch cat videos on, although that's a nice bonus. It's about Apple giving us more real estate to work with, whether you're editing photos, multitasking, or just enjoying your content. And for those of you worried about it being too unwieldy, don't fret just yet. Apple's usually pretty good at balancing size with usability. Now, if you're expecting a complete design overhaul, you might want to temper those expectations a bit. The overall look of the iPhone 16 Pro Max is likely to be pretty similar to its predecessor. But don't let that fool you. There are some interesting changes in the works. For one, we're hearing rumors about a new finish for the titanium frame. Word on the street is that Apple's cooking up a process that'll give the Pro Max a glossier look, reminiscent of the stainless steel days, but with titanium's durability. It's like Apple saying, hey, remember how shiny our phones used to be? Well, we do too. And speaking of colors, get ready for some fresh options. We're looking at the usual suspects, black, white or silver, and a gray natural titanium. But here's where it gets interesting. There's talk of a new rose or bronze color. It's giving me flashbacks to the rose gold iPhone 6's days, and I'm not mad about it. All right, let's talk screens, because this is where things get really exciting. The iPhone 16 Pro Max isn't just getting bigger, it's getting brighter and more efficient too. Apple's reportedly using Samsung's new M14 OLED panel, and folks, this is not your average screen upgrade. We're talking about a potential 20% boost in brightness, pushing up to 1200 nits for standard content. That's like going from, wow, that's bright, to holy moly, I can see this thing from space! but it's not just about raw brightness. This new panel is supposed to be more power efficient too, which could mean good things for battery life. But wait, there's more. Apple's also working on something called micro lens OLED technology. Now, I know that sounds like a mouthful of tech jargon, but here's what it means for you. Even better brightness and less battery drain. It's like Apple found a way to have its cake and eat it too. And let's not forget about those bezels. Apple's using some fancy tech called Border Reduction Structure, or BRS for short. The result? The iPhone 16 Pro Max could have the thinnest bezels of any smartphone out there. We're talking a mere 1.15 millimeters. That's thinner than a credit card, folks. Now let's pop the hood and see what's powering this beast. Apple's cooking up a new A-series chip for the Pro models, built on the latest 3 nanometer technology. What does that mean in English? Well, it's like Apple's taken their already blazing fast chip and strapped a rocket to it. We don't have all the details yet, but you can bet your bottom dollar that this chip will bring some serious improvements in both performance and efficiency. Whether you're editing 4K videos, playing graphics-intensive games, or just trying to open a gazillion tabs in Safari, this phone's going to handle it like a champ. All right, camera enthusiasts, this section's for you. While we don't have all the nitty-gritty details yet, there are some exciting developments in the camera department. The most intriguing? A brand new capture button. This isn't just any old button, folks. It's a smart button that can detect different levels of pressure. Think of it like a two-stage shutter button on a DSLR camera. A light press to focus, a harder press to snap the pic. But that's not all. You can even swipe on it to zoom in and out. It's like Apple took the best parts of a dedicated camera and squeezed them into a button on your phone. And let's not forget about the main camera array. While we're not seeing any major changes to the exterior design, you can bet your bottom dollar that Apple's working on some software magic to push those cameras even further. We might see improvements in low light performance, better zoom capabilities, and who knows, maybe even some new computational photography tricks. Now let's talk juice. With a bigger screen and more powerful internals, you might be worried about battery life. But fear not! Rumors suggest we're looking at a battery capacity increase of about 5.74% compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. That might not sound like much, but combined with more efficient chip and display, it could translate to a noticeable boost in battery life.
There's also chatter about faster charging speeds. While Apple's been a bit conservative in this department compared to some Android rivals, there's hope that the iPhone 16 Pro Max might finally catch up. Imagine being able to juice up your phone in the time it takes to grab a coffee. Now that's convenience. Of course, hardware is only half the story. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will likely launch with iOS 18, and if the rumors are true, we're in for some very exciting new features. There's talk of major AI enhancements, potentially bringing more advanced on-device processing and smarter Siri capabilities. We might also see improvements to Face ID. While details are scarce, there are whispers of an overhaul to the system. Could we be looking at faster recognition, better performance in low light, the ability to recognize you even with the face mask on? Only time will tell, but it's certainly something to keep an eye on. In the connectivity department, we're likely to see some improvements too. There's talk of better Wi-Fi capabilities, which could mean faster speeds and more stable connections. And while 5G is already pretty great on iPhones, there's always room for improvement. We might see support for more 5G bands or better power efficiency when using 5G. One interesting tidbit is the relocation of the millimeter wave antenna. With the new capture button taking up space on the right side, Apple's moving this antenna to the left side, below the volume buttons. It's a small change, but it shows how Apple's constantly tweaking the design to accommodate new features. So what does all this add up to? Well, it looks like the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a seriously impressive device. We're looking at a bigger, brighter display, more power under the hood, potentially better battery life, and some nifty new features like the capture button. But more than that, it feels like Apple's really pushing the envelope here. They're not just making incremental improvements. They're rethinking what a smartphone can be and do. Whether it's the advanced display tech, the more powerful chip, or the AI improvements in iOS, it's clear that Apple's aiming to set a new standard for what we expect from our phones. And there you have it, a deep dive into what we can expect from the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Of course, it's worth remembering that until Apple officially announces the device, all of this is subject to change. But based on what we're hearing, I think it's safe to say that the iPhone 16 Pro Max is going to be a device worth getting excited about. Whether you're a photography enthusiast, a mobile gamer, a productivity powerhouse, or just someone who wants the best of the best, it looks like the iPhone 16 Pro Max will have something for you. It's taking everything we loved about the iPhone 15 Pro Max and cranking it up to 11. So what do you think? Are you excited about the iPhone 16 Pro Max? What feature are you looking forward to the most? Drop a comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content.